Hi. Uh, this is, I believe, going to be the conclusion here of my story called uh, Call Me Jibril, Science Fiction. That you can actually buy on Amazon uh, if you want. And um, I'm in the process of uh, trying to improve it because I noticed that there were some problems with it. Even though I published it, I noticed that there's still some problems with it. So, yeah, I'm trying to correct it as I'm reading it here. Okay, I'll continue here. All right, where am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. With that, Newton asked the future Muhammad Cotton, does... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I'll read back a little bit here. With that, Jibril burst out into heavy laughter and said, Ha ha, before I beamed the Kaaba up into space to replace it with my robot, I, I switched the Blackstone with camel crap to later experiment to see if Muslims would be, ki would be kissing camel crap during a hajj due to being so hypnotized and thinking it was holy. <laughs> I mean, they didn't seem phased at all about one hour of seeking knowledge being better and than praying for 70 years. They didn't seem to be phased that the... They didn't seem to be phased that the Kaaba in the, tw in the 10th century was once destroyed. Um, 20,000 Muslims slaughtered, dumped in the well of Zamzam, the black stone stolen, peed on, and held hostage for over 20 years by the Karmatians, going against my saying that Mecca would be a place of security, so it was my next experiment to see if they would even notice they were kissing camel crap. <laughs> even Muhammad, well, well, Cotton here, in the last in the last time, the last universe, never questioned what, to me, was the biggest, swiftest kick in the upper expectating prostration of Islam uh, with that stupid, quote, one hour seeking knowledge is better than 70 years of, of you know, than praying for 70 years, saying, I just had to experiment further with the camel crap in the silver urn to test the reality of this universe. That's all. To see if it was all a crazy dream. Ha <laughs> ha. With that, Newton asked the future Muhammad, Cotton, does that sound like, uh, Cotton, Cotton, does that sound like an experiment created by an all-knowing God that cares about Muslims? If it's all-knowing, why should it test you? Yeah. Or does it sound like something a lying Satan would pull? You sure you'll be rewarded with children to have sex with if you, if you kill for it like it promises? Muhammad just uh, stood by the throne of Jibril looking disturbed. Yeah. Newton then said, The Quran says Allah is the best of deceivers. Again, are you sure you'll, will, you will, you will, are you sure you will give children to, are you sure you will be, are, again, you sure you will be, you sure you will get um, again, again, you sure you will get children to have sex with if you kill for him? Think, Omo. Think. What's that say about a god when it has to bring you to do something? What's that say about a god when it has to bribe you to do something for it? It's virgins! Not children, virgins! Shouted, ang shouted Jibril angrily. Quit saying children. It it's virgins. Muslims will be screwing for eternity if you kill for me. Virgins! Jibril then laughed and said, shouting a bit of, with a desperation in his voice, uh, "You're wasting your time, Matt. Mister Praise be unto me, Muhammad or Cotton knows I'm the best of planners." With that, Newton shouted back at him. If you are, as you say, the best of planners and not the best of deceivers, then why did you only make it appear that Jesus died on the cross, a cross like I found out while questioning Muslims in Mecca with Obakoba? Why make it only appear that Jesus appear that Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world when secretly you took him up to partner? I mean, be with you in heaven. You think that is good planning to do something like that resulting in the damnation of billions of innocent Christian souls unknowing that they that they are being deceived by the best of planners really you think doing something like that to do to unwitting humans is something a good God would pull off innocent Christians who would fall for such a lie 
when they would quote, stand from upon the Torah and Angel, like Quran 568 tells them to do, and believe in all those sin offerings of blood atonement sacrifices of innocent animals described in your Torah, at the same time, make them believe Christianity to be true and, and Jesus Christ would be the Lamb of God described later in the Injil, the Lamb of God whose blood would be shed for the redemption of the world to make all that crazy sounding stuff in the Torah make sense to them? Jibril laughed and said, hey, Jews and Christians are to go to hell for the ransom of evil Muslims whose sins are as big as mountains. If I didn't trick Jews and Christians, how could Jews and Christians be the scapegoats for my evil Muslims due to their sins being, being as big as mountains? Ha <laughs> ha. With that, Cotton said, with that, Cotton said, I thought you taught me in Quran that no one can bear the sins of another. Bear the burden of another. Jibril looked shifty-eyed. Nisan looked at, at Cotton and asked, You think that's fair, O Muhammad? What if things were reversed and you were to be tricked into hell to bear the sins of evil Christians and Jews? Would you have a problem with that? Cotton looked, uh, looked more nervous and confused. Nisan went on and said, And you think such evil tricking by this fiend will only stop with Christians and Jews and won't move on to Muslims for their damnation as well? How, O oh Muhammad, how can you be so certain and trusting that it will reward you with eternal sex with children if you kill for it? How can you believe the deception only stops when it comes to Muslims and yourself? When an innocent baby boy who never sinned can go to hell due to the special instructions written by Allah before he was born, well, how do you know old Al there next to you doesn't have special instructions written about you being one of the losers as well. Muhammad started uh, breathing har even harder and looked even more disturbed. He looked at the black mutant and asked, You sure I and Muslims will reward the paradise if we die in your cause? Jibba looked at his messenger squarely in the eye and said, He's lying. Don't listen to him. You will have little girls and boys to have sex with, and you will have rivers of wine that will never give you a hangover if you get drunk on it. The, the boys and girls will all look the same and be equal in age around your erection that will never become soft. Muhammad then asked, So you wrote the Torah and Injil just to trick Jews and Christians into being scapegoats into hell for, for Muslims? Jibra laughed out, out loud and said, Okay, I have to confess. I only wrote the clear signs handed down, explained things fully in detail. I. Oh, yeah. Jibo laughed out loud and said, Okay, I have to confess. I only wrote the clear signs handed down, explained things fully in detail. I only wrote the Quran. The Torah was written by Moses. And believe it or not, there never was an Injil. Besides, Injil is a Greek word, you chucklehead, you. A Greek word, not Aramaic but a Greek word that means good news. It's, it's a Greek word. If the Quran was true about me giving books only in the language of the prophet, of the prophet I'm sending a book down to, the angel or gospel that was given to my prophet Jesus would be in Aramaic since Jesus spoke Aramaic. But again, gospel is a Greek word. So really, I never wrote the Injil, and again, there never was an Injil, ha! Huh? You are so stupid, you didn't know that the New Testament is the Gospel, for it's Gospel or Injil to Christians, ha <laughs> ha! But you are smart now, and getting smarter thanks to me. I created you, O Mo, so my laughing at you for mistaking the, the, old, mistaking the New Testament for, for being something called the Injil will soon come to an end. Still. It makes me smile to know you think the New Testament was a book given to Jesus when no book was given to Jesus, especially something called the Injil. <laughs> Shoot, I'm going to miss that. It, it, I, it, it made you cute to me that you kept on thinking the New Testament was a book I wrote. For again, there never was an Injil, and there never was a Zabur. It was always called Psalms, never Zabur either. <laughs> Newton looked at Muhammad and said, you sure he's telling you the truth? He will give you he'll be giving you sex with children if you kill for him. When he even lied about writing the Torah and the non existent book given to Jesus, the Injil. You know? You sure? Oh crap, it's not recording.
Oh well. Oh, good thing. See, that's a good thing. I'm, I'm, uh, good thing I'm, I'm using here because that thing didn't, uh, it didn't record here. All right. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, it didn't. The, the, what I was reading just didn't work. So I'll, I'm glad I'm focusing my attention here. All right, I'll continue here. Oh shoot! It got it's it's re needs it. I need to reconnect it again. Okay. All right, continue here. Oh, yeah. All right. News looked at Muhammad and said, "You sure he's telling you the truth? He will be giving you sex with children if you kill for him." when he even lied about writing the Torah and that non-existent but given to Jesus, the Injil, Muhammad thought and said to Jibril, if you really didn't write the Torah, then maybe all those sin offerings and blood atonement shed from innocent animals as described in the Torah isn't because God is bloodthirsty like I and Jews believe about you for calling, the, for, calling for them in the Torah, but because those sin offerings and blood atonement in the Torah really were looking to a time when Jesus would fulfill them. Maybe there really is a God and you are nothing more than Satan who truly would be the best of deceivers to try to divert from the Torah and Angel, the Old Testament. The Old and New Testament that seem to be complement, that seem to complement, seem to confirm each other. Cotton walks, Cotton walked slowly, soft, walked softly about the bridge of the strange robot time spaceship in deep thought. He then said, maybe that's the only thing you said that is true. Jibril quit laughing and asked, Satan? An evolved and evolving being like you actually believes there could be a Satan? Man, you must have been near vegetable when I gave you that pill. Cotton shook his head slowly from side to side and said, I don't think I like what I see. Absolute power has corrupted you. It is corrupting me as well. Cotton looked at down at the Borg like robots Cotton looked it down as Borg like robots walked about him and said, I find your actions and thoughts evil and tedious. I find them vacant and meaningless. There is nothing uplifting nor beneficial about you. Nothing. Yes, said Newton, a feeling of hope coming into him now. Yes. Jibril looked angrily and said, sh sh said showing his teeth at Cotton Muhammad, you are talking to Jibril and Allah. I'm the one. I'm the all-knowing, the wise. You know that. Oh, you know something? I better... You know, I think I'm getting... Well, I'll continue a little further here. Yeah. Cotton ignored the threat of tone of his maker and said... Cotton, Cotton ignored the threatening tone of his maker and said... You are not all wise, and you certainly are not all knowing. For if you were the latter, why should you bother to test your followers? It is a logical test when you claim to know the outcome. Stunned, Jibbles responded back in a, in a way that sounded desperate, saying, shouting, It's the same reason why I call myself we. The same reason why I use the royal plural in the Quran. It's, it's due to my showing respect to myself, the way human kings use the royal plural to show respect to themselves when they call themselves we. Illogical, said Cotton, in a computerized monotone. Why should a god as you who hates shirk more than anything done to lower to lower uh, yeah why should a god as as you who who hates shirk more than anything deign to lower himself to emulate schizophrenic pronouncements of human royalty you are not only full of the non sequitur you are nothing but pure evil Jibril's eyes lit up with fury as newton and his crew became more alive over what they were hearing cotton went on and said by what you have handed down to me in clear signs, well, although you have straightened me out in the ways of science, I see that most of what you have given me still comes off as the writings of a petulant evil child with no love or concern for its, innoc for its innocent human creation, but the complete and utter threat to all that is decent, pure, and beautiful. I see all, I see that all now, I see it clearly, and I feel you need to be destroyed. 
yes shouted newton yes he shouted he shouted again as his enemy stood up on the bridge of his ship hissing in with incredible hate and wrath toward his messenger sergeant storm shouted out he's evolved beyond the stage of liberal progressive newton finally he he can now see he he now sees he can now see he can now see evil for what it truly is with fury, Jibble kicked over his throne, punched a hole in the wall of his ship, show, uh, slowly turned to cotton, showing a row, of, a, a row of gritted, grinding teeth, and hissed at his messenger. So, what you are going to do? Well, what are you going to do now about? What are you going to? What, so, what are you going to do about it, my bulgy-headed slave dunce? I can pop your head with a poke of my finger before you can get any light any more lightning bolts out of your hands. I can do that even if you do get any of your lightning bolts off. I can go down in, in time I can go back in time with my, with this ship and pick another stupid Arab to be my trigger for Borgs and Islam. Perhaps I'll pick Aisha. She's damn cute for one thing. No wonder you diddled her when she was nine. With fury cotton threw the mutant a look of great anger with uh, with great anger himself i've got to stop it here